Hey guys. Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. Rolls Royce is set to announce more than 4,000 job losses this week as the aero engine maker attempts to increase profits by cutting middle management posts. The chief executive, Warren East, has decided to take action after stating repeatedly that the firm has become bloated with unnecessary layers of management and duplicated roles. The job cuts are expected to be unveiled on Friday when the firm is scheduled to update city analysts, some of whom have penciled in a reduction of up to 10% of Rolls-Royce's 50,000 workforce. However, the job losses are unlikely to affect frontline engineering jobs after the company and unions agreed a deal last year to protect around 7,000 roles at plants in Derby and Hucknall and Annesley in Nottinghamshire, as part of a £150 million investment in UK aerospace facilities. Instead, areas such as finance, human resources, and purchasing are expected to undergo job cuts. Rolls-Royce, which makes engines for Boeing and Airbus aircraft, as well as for the Eurofighter Typhoon and propulsion systems for Royal Navy nuclear submarines, declined to confirm the exact number of redundancies planned. A spokesman for the company said, We are proposing to move to a considerably simplified staff structure, with fewer layers and greater spans of control across the group. We said we had retained restructuring experts to support us with this program. We added that we expected this program to deliver a significant reduction in costs and assist us in improving performance across the group as a whole. East, who was appointed as chief executive from the microchip designer arm almost three years ago, inherited the controls of a great British engineering name but also one that had begun to lurch from crisis to crisis. He was forced to issue a profit warning on only his second day in the job, while historical allegations of corruption led to £671 million in penalties and the company apologizing in court last year, after Rolls-Royce was found to have paid millions of pounds worth of bribes to secure orders in six countries, including Indonesia, Russia, and China.